Hey everyone, here we are in the middle of uh, Ellerslie Racecourse and we've got um, some pitching and putting to do today. It's a uh, par 3 course and uh, we're going to have a bit of a whack around. Just got a, a putter and, a, and an 8 iron and uh, that's pretty much all you need so let's go and get into it. Lance Wahaya is one of a handful of Vodafone warriors who play golf regularly. With other mates working, it means this midweek round is a solo effort. Still, it's a chance for Vodafone One Tribers to learn more about the Waikato boy, who is the 12th player to make 100 appearances for the club. Well, here we are on the first hole. We've got uh, 120 metres to make, and as you can see, there's uh, about 50 metres out. There's a small bunker to make things a little bit more difficult for yourself. Just remember, guys, it's not how, it's how many. And we're on the dance floor at one. Well, I played quite a lot when I was a kid. We had a golf course just down the road. I started playing probably when I was about 10 years old and try and get out as much as I can in the, in the off season and when the weather's not too bad and uh, hopefully things will get better as the day goes by. You know, something relaxing to do and get your mind off other things, uh, mainly, mainly football. So it's um, a good time to, for me to come and, come and chill out and have a bit of quiet time. There's some similarities between golf and uh, rugby league, mainly uh, the goal kicking area. To do with your set up and you know trying to do the same swing basically every time, and uh, that same sort of concentration and, and everything goes into your swing and, and your goal kicking. To try and use a bit of that focus and concentration. Oh, I'm happy with par. That's right. <laughs> goal kicking helps with the golf, and the golf helps with the goal kicking to um, kill two birds with one stone. It's good. <laughs> Shall we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Great shot, Lance. On that note, we'll let you sign the card and get out of the cold so we can chat some more. This is my place. I share it with uh, my sister and, and my flatmate. He's uh, a good mate of mine that I grew up with from my hometown in Huntley. So uh, come on in and, and we'll have a look around. After a long day at training and uh, get the feet up and, you know, watch, watch a bit of TV and relax. So uh, spent, uh, you know, many days here sitting down and watching TV. I grew up in Huntley, uh, it's a little um, old sort of coal mining town and about it's an hour south of, of Auckland and pretty staunch league area in league town. And Wairangi Kōpū comes from you know the same area or went to school there. Uh, Tawara Nikau, he, he's from Huntley. Yeah, it's you know really small tight-knit community and it's, you know, it's always nice to go back there. Most of my family are pretty fair. Uh, not, not too much uh, of the Māori blood running through me, but um, definitely a you know, proud part I try to hold on to. And My grandfather and his brothers played for New Zealand Māori's uh, rugby and league. And two of them played for the rugby side and two of them played for the league side, so uh, pretty special to carry on the name like that. Lance was brought up on league at home, but rugby union was the dominant code at school. Then he made the under-18 Kiwis. My last year at school, I uh, told the school that I'd appreciate it if they would let me pursue a, a career in rugby league. They were pretty understanding. The principal at the time, Steve Cole, he's a, you know, a good family friend and he's been in touch with me you know, to this day. Lance was sitting for his bursary when he signed with the Vodafone Warriors in 2001. It was hard to concentrate on exams when a league career awaited him. Yeah, when I first came to the Warriors, Stacey was pretty much at the peak of his career and pretty starstruck when I first met him. Yeah, it was just a great honour to, you know, one day get out there and, and play alongside him and I played a lot of football with Stace now and I'm proud to call him a friend and he's, he's, he's back at the Warriors now helping out. Just to have him around, is, is, you know, it's, it makes you feel good, makes you feel confident. Lance enjoyed a recall to the Kiwis test lineup this year and naturally has hopes of a World Cup spot later in the year. For now, he's enjoying his football and looking for more success with the Vodafone Warriors. Most of your goals, they're all set on a weekly basis. If you just break it down week by week, you know, and, and uh, concentrate on every game. You know, Ruben's a, a good example of that. He just plays each game each weekend like it's his last game. And if you take that attitude to your games, and most of those goals, they sort of appear in front of you and, and uh, you know, you achieve them in no time.